Well, it's still a little warm, but I'm anxious to see what it tastes like. And that's our beautiful Zapple pie. But let's try it and see how it tastes. Uh, it cuts nicely. Mmm. Very delicious. How do you like your apple pie? With a slice of cheese? Or maybe ice cream a la mode? Well, you've probably heard the saying, easy as pie. There's a reason they say that, because pie is one of the easiest things to make. Well, let's make a hashtag called I made a pie and uh, you make a pie and then comment to me with the hashtag I made a pie. Mm. Really good. I'll probably have some later with ice cream. Start by peeling a large zucchini. Cut your zucchini in half. Use a spoon to remove the seeds. Slice your zucchini into thin slices, about like that. That yielded approximately eight cups of zucchini slices. We'll add the juice of one fresh lemon. In case you're wondering, that is about uh, just under a half a cup. We'll add that to our saucepan. We'll bring this to a boil and then we'll simmer our zucchini until it's softened. Okay, it's boiling now, so we'll turn it back and let it simmer. Our zucchini is softened, so we'll add a half a cup of sugar, white sugar, and a half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger, and we'll grate some fresh nutmeg, also about an eighth of a teaspoon, and we'll stir to melt all of the sugars. Add three tablespoons of flour to thicken your mixture. A teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter. You can see that the mixture is thickened up nicely. We're gonna remove it from the stove and let it set for 15 minutes. I'm gonna be using a ready-made pie crust this time. Let's add that to our pie plate. Use a fork to puncture a few holes in the bottom. Wow, this smells and looks amazing. Let's add it to our pie shell. Roll your top crust up on a rolling pin. Then unroll it on your pie. Tuck your top crust underneath the bottom crust all the way around. At this point, you could press the pie together, the crust with a fork, but I like to take this method, just use your two fingers on the bottom and then one on the top, and you go all the way around and just uh, flute the edge of the pie. I think it looks nice. That's how it comes out. Now we'll just put a few slits in the top of the pie so that the steam can escape. We'll place our pie on a baking sheet in case it bubbles over. Place your pie at a 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, let's remove our pie from the oven. I placed a pie shield over the edge of the crust to keep the edge of the crust from burning or overcooking. I've reset the oven to 350 and I'm gonna put it back in for another 30 minutes.